Does the idea of doing maths live in front of your interviewer get you a bit like... No! God, please, no! No! If so, then you'll want to watch this video, as we'll be going through how to actually make the maths easier, how to improve your mental maths, and how to deal with mistakes. All of that and more in this video. Hi, my name's Henry. I'm an incoming BCG consultant and here at the Consulting Axis, our mission is to help you align your future in consulting and beyond. So if that sounds good, then consider subscribing and turning on bell notifications so you don't miss anything. But for now, let's get right into the video. In a case interview, you don't actually get a calculator and when I heard about this, I was a bit like, oh no, I can't remember the last time I did mental maths. So before we start talking about how to get better at the maths, let's have a chat about how we can actually make it easier for ourselves. The main point here is that you don't need to be incredibly precise. They normally want values just to be roughly calculated and this is great because this means you can round numbers. Let's say 990 people each spend $13 at a shop what is the shop's revenue? Well, it's 990 times by $13, but that doesn't look very nice to calculate. But again, we don't need this to be so exact. So let's just round the 990 up to 1,000 and the $13 down to $10. And you can probably see now that we just have 1,000 times by 10, i.e. $10,000. Notice here how I rounded the 990 up and the 13 down. This sort of helps to balance out the rounding and give you a better accurate answer. And when you do this sort of balancing, make sure you tell your interviewer that you're doing it. They'll be really impressed that you understand how this works. Just be careful not to round numbers too much and too often so that the answer is incredibly inaccurate. And if the answer clearly needs to be very precise, make sure to keep rounding down to a minimum. So now to talk about how to actually get better at the mental maths for your consulting case interviews. And I actually don't think it's the maths that people struggle with. It's mainly the fact that you're doing it in front of your interviewer and put under pressure. But what do I do? So a technique that really helped me out was that a friend would write down 10 or so simplish mental maths questions and set a minute timer and I'd have to solve them all before the timer runs out. And I know this may sound strange, but it emulates the pressure aspect really well. Now, you can prepare loads, you can make the maths as easy as you can, but you can still make mistakes. Take me for example, I prepared loads, I actually studied maths at uni, yet I still made mistakes at firms that I eventually got offers at. So the point I'm trying to stress is that if you make a mistake in the maths, it is not the end of the world. So let's say you've made a mistake and your interviewer says to you, oh sorry, I'm not sure that's completely correct. Do you stress? I gotta get out of here. Or do you stay calm? I'm gonna do this all day. So you obviously do the latter. Just stay calm and have a quick check. If you see the problem, perfect. Tell them what it was, correct it, and carry on. If you don't see it straight away, don't worry. You can even talk to them and say, oh, which bit do you think I've got incorrect? This is absolutely fine to do. At the end of the day, consultants work in teams, so they don't mind you doing this. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you could leave a comment just saying what you'd like to see next, that would be perfect. And if you made it this far, then please consider subscribing. It's free, and it really does help me out a lot. But for now, Best of luck with your consulting case interviews.